Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. So we are glad to, to be with you this Saturday live, and we can take your calls live at 737-1200, 210-737-1200. And we're going to talk today about one of the things we're really proud about in our company that makes a big difference to so many of you that call us. And it's having uh, being integrated with in-house employees uh, versus subcontractors. And so we're going to talk today about some of the advantages that that brings us and brings us and it brings you as a consumer. And so if you wanted to know if there's any advantages or disadvantages of both, we'll talk about all of those. And in short, you're going to see that the advantages of having subcontractors really is with the client. I mean, the uh, contractor and not for you as the client. That's what we believe. And we're going to talk about what that can do. We need to get specific on what types of employees work in our company and how that makes a difference. Again, our company is based on just a wonderful team of 54 employees. And over the years, you've probably heard it go from 35 to 45 to 54, like we are now. We pretty much reached our peak of where we're going to be within a, you know, within a number count of one or two. But um, this is this has really become something that has made us stand out as being quite different. But along with that subject of our team, a wonderful team, we're going to be able to take your calls live also. Uh, and speaking of the team, we just had a wonderful your your uh, appreciation dinner. Mm -hmm. And I think we had 96 people attend that a couple yeah. of weeks ago on a Friday night. That was just a good time, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Really nice. And got so many compliments and so many. The main thing is get so many smiles and hugs uh, from not only from the, the team members of K and Builders, but all of their support staff, all their supporters and their families, getting to see them. And, and really that is a... A big difference in what we see in our culture you know as, as you and I've been talking we're going to continue to sound down to the management team our, our assistant coaches that we need to take care of people yeah because if we take care of people those people take care of our, of our clients and, and it really boils down to do they feel safe do they feel secure and if they do they just blossom they really, really become so much more. We've seen that with specific individuals that were kind of like, I guess you could say, holding back mm -hmm. until they felt safe. Anything you, does that, does that uh, ring a bell with you? Um, yeah, I mean, I definitely see individuals like you want them to feel comfortable and that's when they start blossoming and you put them in the right role with the right people around them and all of a sudden they're a much happier, um, dedicated employee. You know, we had someone who we took from being a trim carpenter and now he's an estimator and I think he was so much happier. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's another advantage. So we talk about the advantage to the, the client. So it's really the product and the experience that the client gets. It's two avenues that it benefits, um, you know, the product being the, the finished results, so the, the way, the, the, uh, the quality and, and then of course great processes that that give you a good experience but it also benefits us mm -hmm. in so many ways I mean our lives are so much less stressful and it benefits the employee themselves by being in an environment like this because they're so much happier they're so much more secure um, you know, and, it, what, and what a reward we get for being part of an organization that makes people feel warm and fuzzy and, and fun, to, fun to work at. Mm -hmm. But even more than being fun, I mean, again, I go back to that word of being safe. People feel secure in K and Builders because, and what would you say is the number one thing that makes a person feel secure in their job? Um, having a full work week. Steady hours. work, steady work, right? Mm -hmm. Every week, mm -hmm. and boy, we've done that, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So, and then just so they don't hear it from me, 
Is that easy for us to accomplish, to give everyone a regular work week for decades? No, um, something we weren't always able to do <laughs> even, right? Well, I don't know, it's been so long, I yeah. can't remember it any other way. It's actually before you were born. <laughs> so. Well, I mean, I've heard from some project managers and things like how busy we are now and to comparison, um, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people would be off on Fridays and and things like that. But now it's so much, we are so busy that it's more of where can we put these guys because we have so much work. It's orchestrating now, mm -hmm. but, but like everybody will tell you that I used to keep them busy on other projects mm -hmm. just to keep them busy if we were slow. And so that's something that I was able to give our, our wonderful team, even when we were only with 25 people, yeah. we always kept them busy. And, and that was that was security for them. And like you said, that's the number one thing that makes people feel safe and secure is that I've got regular work, I'm not gonna be let go. Yeah. But you know, even in big companies where where there's a lot of work, you know, <laughs> corporate environments, people get let go because of profits. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, we're gonna make our numbers so we're gonna let you know, let a thousand people go. Yep. And how does that make the rest of the people feel that are that work there? You know, that they're expendable. That it could be me next time. And even though we're a smaller company, we've never had those people have that fear of, well, I wonder if we'll have a or, layoff. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if we'll have a layoff or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People only get only leave our company because either they moved on to something else that they wanted to do or they couldn't cut it or we said it's just not a good fit. We're gonna ask you to leave. But it's not because, hey, we don't have enough work, we're gonna cut back. Mm -hmm. No, even in the pandemic, we didn't do that. We still found plenty of things, even though it was a little scary for a little while. Mm -hmm. We weren't letting people go because it was slow. Um, so so that's, one, that's one of the big things we've been able to offer them is, and I'm gonna say it for me now, it's not easy to structure a company where you always have plenty of work for your employees. That takes work. And I've always viewed that as my number one priority to all the people that service us, that do what we need them to do every day, is the least I can do is make sure that I find them work. And there's been plenty of times where it would have been easier for me not to have work for them and just let them off. Mm -hmm. But I didn't, I didn't do that. And, and I know that it has made a huge difference in their lives. <clears throat> So we're going to take a little break here. We're going to talk some more about the advantages of in-house employees versus subcontract employees. And we're not we're not um, definitely against subcontract employees, and we do have a few of those. But we just want you to know what where there's a difference. Whenever you have so many choices to make, you need to know what that choice involves. What what is involved in it and we're going to show you something very unique about our company uh, because we want the chance to shine for you before we do that i'd like to mention something that's very close to me and that is hair the, the limmer hair transplant center is just an incredible organization with a wonderful client experience and dr jennifer Kregi can be your doctor like she is so many other people in San Antonio. They're right there in Castle Hills. And they do everything from surgical to non-surgical treatment methods. There's just a whole bunch of information that you can learn about that could help you to get thicker, more beautiful hair. And it's, don't give up. Just give them a call at 210-496-9992. I can tell you I'm really glad I did. 496-9992. Or go to limmerhtc.com. And we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. You can find economic. That's Becky. Who's that? World Car Kia? Huh? World Car Kia? Yes, she, Becky, she works at USA. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Or she did. Can we pump up Miss Morgan just a hair? What's that? Can we pump Miss Morgan's volume up just a Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. 
It'll make for a better my recording. My job. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> Making you sound good. That's my job. <laughs> A lot of people Where? last week on Instagram oh, during the show. And I had it set up right here on the little. Yeah, I saw. Worked out good. Mm-hmm. Was it clear enough? Mm-hmm. Christy Guthrie is watching. Hi, Christy. Christy. And um, it was so easy to set it up there with the reverse camera. Yeah. <laughs> good. I didn't want to bring that and try to figure out if I was in the right place or not. Uh-huh. Just sit right here. How'd you uh, stand it up? You know the little phone holder I have it on? You, oh, yeah, yeah. You just did that? No. Oh, that's smart. I'm just grabbing this. <laughs> I didn't, you even, I didn't even grab that. That's good. I just moved this over. A bit. Mm -hmm. Because this is a perfect little place to do it. I was talking to folks during the break. <laughs> Are you serious? I tried to, yeah. <laughs> I'm looking right at you. AD accepted. Okay. Is it 18? Yes. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are talking about in-house versus subcontract employees. Is that some home, more home music there for you? Um, so we're talking about in-house versus subcontract employees. And it's something that we feel we have a real advantage, and we want to point out why that's such an advantage to you. We were talking a little bit about how how the employees feel about it, uh, which you know was probably not the first thing that that even I thought of uh, as bringing to your attention, but it is important. Mm -hmm. And the employees, it makes a huge difference to. And like I said, if if they're happy, then they're going to perform well and they're going to do a great job for me and for you. And so we we started this company back in 1984. I was a 
training subcontractor, which meant I was working for other great, uh, what we call general contractors. But I had two people working for me, me and two, two assistants, two helpers, and I was a frame and carpenter. So for many years I did new construction. Altogether, probably about 10 that I actually did. And then we were, part of those years, we were phasing, trying to phase into remodeling because the economy was so bad. Two things had happened. One is there was not a lot of new construction in the 80s, in the mid 80s um, and late 80s. Uh, so I said, we need to do something else. The second thing was it wasn't easy to become a general contractor when you weren't making money and there wasn't much work. So I said, I'll start remodeling. Mm -hmm. And that way I'm working directly for a homeowner. Of course, you know, you're gonna start small. You're not gonna have this reputation of doing great remodels. They're not gonna let you do $100,000, $300,000, $400,000, $500,000 remodels, which would have been a huge difference to me back then. But truthfully, I wasn't ready for it. And so we had to have so much more to be where we are today to be able to do these types of projects, which we absolutely love, and it's exactly where I wanted to be. But even back then, starting off, we started off with just a couple of carpenters, then we got us a painter, then we got us a guy who could do some tape and float and texture, we got us a trim carpenter, we got another painter, we got another demo demolition guy, we had somebody hauling trailers, we had a project manager assisting me in running projects, and then it just kept building from there. And what we found out was two things. You have to I had, to, I had to focus more of my time on making sure that these people had, had work. Mm -hmm. I could not work anymore and do the work. I had to actually work at getting more work, and I worked even harder at that to get more work. But what it did is it kept, it kept those people. I was able to not just keep them for a little while, then lose them, then replace them, then hope they'd come back, and then they didn't come back, then get somebody else and go through this cycle of repeating, uh, repeatedly trying to get people and not really able to really build anything. The opposite of that was true. I was able to keep what I had in most cases and then add to it because I was so devoted at giving them work. Then people would stay. And then they would also listen to you if you wanted to, to you, if you needed them to get better. They liked their job. They wanted to keep working better. Um, they wanted to make more money. They wanted to get benefits. And so we kept growing this company in, not just in its size or the amount of work and the amount of employees, but in the, the things we were able to bring back to the employees. And that's what built loyalty. That's what built a team that was sustainable. And so, you know, over the years, we've always had numerous employees. I mean, even as far back as the, you know, 2000, we had, you know, 15 employees. In 2009, I mean, 2008, we had 25 to 28 employees uh, during the recession. When the recession, you know, the next year after the recession, we still had 25 employees. Mm -hmm. Because even though we were slow, we just had to keep busy. We had to keep working. We had to find something to do. And so now we're up to 54. But when we started the design process, we added a whole other dimension to this company, which was being able to design the projects and then really, really uh, give everything that a client needed. So let's talk about what in-house employees means versus going subcontract. Let's start at the very beginning, which would be design. Mm -hmm. So with a, if you have someone who doesn't have their own in-house design team, to me, that means that you are subbing it out to someone and they're designing your remodel. But if they're not the ones building it, how do they really know how much that design is going to cost, right? Right. That's a very, very accurate. That's exactly the way I think. So that we have our own in-house design team, architectural designers, interior designers, and we know what it's going to cost. At each design meeting, <clears throat> excuse me, we're nailing, <clears throat> we're nailing down the budget and nailing down the design. So that means you get closer and closer to a more exact budget of what this is going to cost. And so you can make actu accurate design decisions 
during that process and you know you'll love the product for a price that you're comfortable with. Very true. So if you if you take out one of I mean I'll give you an example is all of the projects that we've gone through over the years where they had an architect design the project not once did we ever get the project and I'll tell you and they told us why it's way more than what the than what we told them we wanted it to be yep. yeah well he doesn't he doesn't price it he just draws it for you and makes you real excited about the designs but it's not going to be built for that yeah and so these people didn't even do the projects I would drive by years afterward and the project was never done yeah it's because they got you fell in love with something that you couldn't have no that's right and what a mistake that is yeah when we do it we're so I mean you being over over the uh, interior design and the sales part you're making sure that we're not presenting something or a budget to them that's out of line with what's being designed mm -hmm. what's being designed is not out of line with what with what's being priced right what they're saying their budget is so it's extremely important that we do that in-house in addition to that, imagine how much longer it would take if every time a change is made to have to go get that done and go meet it with an architect, an outside architect, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, know, outside or, or designer or whatever you're hiring. Uh, that's going to have to be, and that's what our, our competition does. They hire those people outside. They have to go meet with them. And, you know, imagine if you have to do that on 30, what do we have, 40 projects that are in design? Mm -hmm. And we're having to go set up appointments at their offices for our clients, forty to, you know, times times five, yeah, five meetings or five drawings or whatever. I mean, we're looking at two hundred meetings to do what we do, and you know, in in fifty. Yeah, and then also when we make changes in the field because the client decided they want their room addition to be bigger, well, we're not just like sketching that up with the project manager. The project manager is able to come back and get the architectural designer to redraw that so that way it's accurate and it's all thought out. And it's also it's also going to uh, have to, you know, the, the inspectors will see it. Yeah. And then it can be inspected accurately. Mm -hmm. The proper permits can be done on it so that and we it don't have doesn't to, delay the project. Exactly. We don't have to delay the project waiting to get back into someone else's queue and pay more and all of that. We just have our guys right here and they're able to do it and we and we reprioritize that yeah. because it's already about to go into construction mm -hmm. so so that that is a huge advantage that we have that uh, it's all in-house and yeah. it also lessens mistakes in the field having like the interior designers specifically um, they know exactly what our project managers need and we get those like, like uh, where you want your handheld wand gets put on the plan so that the plumber knows exactly where it's going to go before tile goes in and everything. Yeah, think about how much easier it is for an interior designer or an architectural designer that works for the same client all mm -hmm. the time. They know what that client wants. Now, if they have 20 other clients or 40 other clients, they get it mixed up. Exactly. And, and then who knows, you know, you may not be using that particular architectural designer again. You might use another one, and then it's even less frequent. Mm -hmm. But it's all, and we're just growing in the knowledge so that it makes it more seamless. And less and less um, changes have to be made, and which means that we can be more efficient and give a better experience to our client. Yeah. So this all goes to giving a better product and a better experience to you as the client. We're going to talk more about other aspects of in-house employees. Obviously, it goes beyond architectural or interior design. And before I do, I want to mention Howell Wilson. He's the owner of Certified Small Engine Repair, and he can get you your equipment, the top-notch equipment, which doesn't cost a whole lot more than cheap equipment, but you get it at last. And he'll show you how to maintain it. If you ever have an issue with any of your current equipment, take it to him at 7510 Tuzzle Road, that's CertifiedSmallEngine.com, or call them at 523-1138, at CertifiedSmallEngine.com, and we'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. In the next one, when we talk about introductions, 
Um, I'd like to say, start if we could start off with what it doesn't mean and what other people will tell you that it means. puppies. They are so good. You saw the video of Archie in the back looking at me? Yes. <laughs> You're so funny. Just looking. Why'd you take her? Because it was time uh, while I was going to the ministry. But where'd you take well, were you taking her to the office or what? No, I was taking her back. Oh. From daycare? Mm-hmm. Oh. When's mom's pioneer meeting? When is y'all's pioneer meeting? Today. Oh, you went One already? You didn't get didn't to go. Who is this? We could have. We're nice. what's going to end up happening. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't like how we don't have our weather on. Or unique truck accidents, I mean. Oh. Or unique weather Related stuff. Yeah. 
the giant tow machines. Yeah. Scout figured out how to open the cabinet where the food is and got a treats out there, out of there. So now there's no more treats in there. Such a stinker. Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show again, the second half, and thank you for joining us this Saturday. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we've been talking about in-house versus subcontract employees. Mm -hmm. And before we get into that subject, I'm going to mention my friend Joe Caccino at BioGreen SA. We talk about good bones on a house and how to make it look better, but he remodels yards. That's what he does. Landscapes, he remodels them, makes them come back to life. And he can show you how you can salvage your lawn like he did mine. Um, had good years with it, and then it went bad. I couldn't figure out what to do with it, and he helped me. He saved it, and now it's low maintenance. He takes care of the maintenance, and I don't have to do it. And you could have those same results by going to biogreensa.com or calling 421-9522. We need to have Joe in here yep. next, next week, next, the next week we do it. And um, so probably in a week or two, we'll get him in here and we'll talk about what can be done on your lawn in the, for the spring. Uh, now's the time to call him, though, at 210-421-9522, 421-9522, or go to biogreensa.com. You want to get those nutrients in and so that spring growth will be fantastic. And so we're talking about, again, in-house versus subcontractor employees. And the real advantage to having subcontract employees is, is that if you do not want to work too hard as a contractor, you can do less. You don't have to take on jobs to keep your employees busy because you don't care whether those guys go work somewhere else in the meantime because that's what they're used to doing. They're subcontractors. But even our few subcontractors, which we have very few of, as we said, we have 54 employees. Um, even those few subcontractors, we try to keep them extremely busy. And, and the reason is, is they're gonna give us a better service and they're gonna be a lot happier because they know they can count on work from KM Builders. And so it's, it's not the same though as having them at your beck and call. The main reason we started having in-house employees was because we wanted to control and make sure that we could do, keep getting better and better. You can't keep getting better and better to the same extent if your subcontractor can change his employees and he does different types of work, comes back to you and tries to give you the service that you like, but he's used to doing it another way. We've had many, many times that that has tried when we were smaller, that we had to use more subcontractors as we grew. And, you know, they would do pretty good on some things, but not that good on others. And so we tried to fill in those gaps with in-house employees that are highly trained, um, coached regularly. And, you know, just think about all the things you need to coach a person on whenever they go into someone's house, right? Mm -hmm. And that includes our architectural team, our interior design team, our estimating team, our production team, which is painters, carpenters, and project managers. Uh, we even have a purchasing team. But all of these people have to be coached on the different things that we expect, that you expect. And we've learned over the years how to give you what you expect. And we need to make sure that every team member understands what that is. So whether we're doing design, estimating, or construction, uh, purchasing, construction, and so forth, we have to be able to have flexibility. We need to be able to pivot quickly. Yeah. 
Now, like you were saying earlier in design, it's so nice that we can pivot and say, okay, you want more? You mm -hmm. want, you'd like a little more added on? You'd like two of those instead of, th instead of one? Or you mm -hmm. want three instead of two? That changes a lot of things on drawings, and it certainly changes the materials you're going to order, changes the price. So you've got to have your estimators ready to go, your, your drawings first, mm -hmm. and then you've got to have all the people down the line that are ready to order that product and get it done quickly. And we, we've got all, all that. But let's talk a little bit about how that benefits the client in the product and the experience on design. Well, one of the things, if we said it, it would take a lot longer. Yes in design. It would also cost a lot more. Mm -hmm. And you would very seldom ever ever be able to meet a budget if, if somebody else were, were drawing it for them. But how about in construction? Let's talk about what that means for you. So quality and precision. When we have in-house craftsmen, I think you wanted to talk a little bit about what may have been perceived or even said about in-house construction. Yeah. What other people will say about having um, in-house people is so not true. And I'm not making this up. We've actually heard people say that, oh, well, you'll have your um, plumber installing trim and your demo guy doing installing cabinets just to keep them busy. And that's just not the case. And they also said that it cost us a lot more to have these employees and that you're just uh, selling jobs. We, we're just selling jobs basically to keep up with paying our employees. So really <laughs> inaccurate and it's not that way at all. Yeah, let's talk about what it really means. Yeah. It means that we have the same people doing the same job and we are, we have so many employees that we have the them doing only one thing. Yes. They only do that particular thing that they are super great at. Mm -hmm. and, and I would say at the very highest level that can't be duplicated by many of subcontractors because subcontractors also have that, that idea that they're gonna keep busy. Yeah. And they'll do anything to keep busy too. Mm -hmm. But we don't want that. We want that, that carpenter to only install cabinets and trim. Yep. We don't want him doing framing. And we don't want our framers doing cabinets and trim. Have they done some? Probably. You know, but that's not what we hired them for. We want them to stick to what they do. And when we interview them, we find out what their forte is. And we want to see if it's actually high enough level and to see if they come in at what level they come in and whether can they even be used in our company. Because we don't hire um, journeymen. Mm -hmm. They're professionals and they're still going to have to be tweaked after they come into the company. Yeah, I remember uh, we were talking about our crews and we said about our framing crew, if we lose this framer, we're going to hire another framer because I'm not, you said, I'm not having a subcontractor do our interior framing. Nope. And that is a very specialized trade when we're opening up walls in people's homes and getting these framing crews come in, they don't know how to work in a house that's already um, everything like from, from their language yeah. to their music to their smoking to their mud to the to the loud uh, tools they use to the dust they create and damaging or don't protect other areas. damaging areas bringing stuff in this is not what we want in your home yeah. and we won't we won't have it mm -hmm. it makes our life miserable too if you're miserable yes and and that's what would literally happen is we'd be We'd be having to, we'd have to literally start, stop listening to you because it happens so much that we'd have to take on an attitude of we don't care. I just, we can't, this is wrong. I'm sorry, I can't do this. Yeah. We can't, we can't make this any better. You're just going to have to live through it. And that is exactly the opposite of what we tell you. Yeah. And it's because our people care. Yes. We know who they are. And I tell people this at the beginning, you will love every person that's in your home. Mm -hmm. And that is not going to happen with some contractors. I mean, you'll like some of them. And then when they change employees, you might not like them. And you might not be able to get that subcontractor. That's the problem. That's number one. Yeah. Is you don't know if he'll be available. And if he is, how long will you have to wait for that subcontractor? Mm -hmm. When we start your project, because we have these in-house trades, we know that we can keep it rolling without interruption. You know, it is very rare, that, and it's usually weather, 
that would stop us and say we can't, we shouldn't move forward until we get that, get through this this uh, storm because we're going to open up your house. Yeah. But that's it. I mean, it's just it's just almost never happens. Mm -hmm. And so we keep these people moving in with people that we know and love that you will know and love, and it keeps our costs down too. It also makes the job a lot safer. Exactly. But the, the time it takes to bring these people in, and if you make a change, say you want to make a change, you want to add to it. We've had several jobs right now out of the 35 projects we're running where people are asking for something, and, and it's cool. We can do it, and it doesn't cost that much. We talk about, well, we could do it for this much, and they say, okay, well, let's, let's do that. What if we did it this way? Would it be a little less? Well, yeah, that would be a little less. We could do that. Okay, we'll do that. And then we keep the job rolling because these guys aren't pulling off the job because, of, oh, well, you know, um, I have to go get some work somewhere else if, mm -hmm. you're, if you don't know what's going on. Yeah. So this, this really, really makes a difference. And you're right now, subcontractors are charging a premium. Oh, and yeah. you're literally it's being held, your, your pricing are, is being held hostage by whatever they want to charge right now. We don't, we don't suffer those consequences so you get a better product and a better experience. We're going to talk about what this means to the, each and every individual team member too when we come back. But before we do, I want to mention one other sponsor, and that's Rio Medina Truck and Auto Repair and Marine. Mickey Snyder is just incredible. He's worked on my, on, on my boat, and he can work on your truck, your car, your boat, and he can do anything for you, from building a trailer for you, modifying it, to modifying your truck, um, make it high performance, whatever you want. Go to, go to Rio Medina Truck Auto Repair .com or call him at 830-931. That's 830-931-9060. Again, go to Rio Medina Truck and Auto, Truck Auto Repair .com. And we'll be right back to the last segment of the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. Diabetes, I'm blood. Diabetes, Malides. Diabetes. Or as Paul said, diabetes. 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 said to him, really? Diabetes? <laughs> goes, okay, diabetes. <laughs> I know, he's so funny. <laughs> and then I laughed even harder. <laughs> he was going to get it right that time. He's about the limit when you stop playing basketball. Some guys play in the league when they're yeah. 50, but as far as recreational for me. I bet you like could if your knee's fixed, right? Yeah, I think I stopped playing around 45. I don't think I've played for 15 years. Maybe not quite that long, but it's hard on you. Turn out in shape, especially if you do it on the weekend and you just mm -hmm. have not. They're sitting there on the desk all the time. Yeah. You want to do 40s, 50s, and then try that? <laughs> my feet would bleed every game. I Are had. you serious? Your have, shoes have issues. That's weird. I was stopping and starting so much. Boop, 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 boop. Just, just, you know. Yeah, but they do say that people. people who play basketball lose their toenails. Because of that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's hard on your feet. Yeah. If your feet aren't used to it, especially. And yeah. they said the guys will wear double socks. Oh, and that I never helps. Did, didn't know that. And, but it would always have blood in the tips of my socks. That's annoying. 
and it would Painful. be and it would be sore too. I mean, oh, his I feet bet. would just be aching after a game, especially with my arthritis in my foot. Yeah. Just so vague, you know. Welcome back to the Key and Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we're finishing up our topic of in-house versus subcontract employees. Um, it's the reason we mention it is because we think, first of all, we're very proud of what we've built, a 54-person in-house team that is W-2 employees that actually works only for us. And that means they only work for you. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're proud of it, because of what we can offer you, precise detailed employees that have been highly trained and like I always say you'll love every one of these people that works in your home it is incredible to get that across the board and we know it doesn't come about easily or by accident it comes about by great training and it also comes about because we take care of people mm -hmm. we are interested in people we love people we actually you know protect people we, they feel safe so that they will do anything for you because they love their job. And so this is, this is what it brings to you. It brings product, a better product, the highest level of product. In other words, you're seeing precision when it's built. You're seeing details. You're impressed. It's, it saves time on scheduling and on cost and flexibility to make changes this is part of your experience the people are you're enjoying them they're keeping the job clean they've got good habits they're neat clean respectable citizens this enhances the experience so it's not just the end result which we are so know that you'll love mm -hmm. but it's how we got there that is going to make a big difference to you and and really that's how our employees feel too it's like well you know we could do a nice product, but boy, do they cheat the client. Boy, do I feel bad about the way I have to get there. You know, they can feel the exact same way that you would feel if you had a bad experience. It's like, yeah, you know, I did, I did, eat, did, did get to eat at the restaurant, but boy, was it painful. <laughs> and so you can have two things go wrong. The product can really suck. It doesn't look good. Or, and the experience is horrible. And or. And usually it's both, but sometimes they get there and it's, it's okay. The job is finished. It looks good after it's all painfully done. Yeah. But our employees don't want that. We hire the kind of people that want to be protected and taken care of. And part of being taken care of to them is being able to have pride in their work and in the way that they can treat people and not have to lie to them, not have to tell them uh, half-truths, being transparent. And knowing that the company is going to be transparent and they're going to be backed up if they tell the truth to a client, that is huge. So it's not just getting in their, their money at the end of the week. It's not just a 40-hour week. I got paid decently. Mm -hmm. I got paid great even. It's how did I get that money? How did I get there? What was their experience as an employee? And when you, when you give that to every single employee, a good experience, and help them and care about them, which takes a lot of our effort as managers, mm -hmm. but it's enjoyable. Uh, we get rewarded so much and the client gets rewarded because those people care about them so much. So you can't duplicate what we've done. Nobody wants to even try it. No. It's and, I, and I know when you first started 
if you were worried about people trying to copy us, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think now? Well, they can't. <laughs> and I think that it's, you know, you've built it for so long that you're able to maintain this. Someone starting out and trying to, to get in-house employees, it's going to be a very difficult task for them to do. And that's why it can be painted as a negative because it's easier to make it seem like it's a negative for us than to try and do it and, and reap the benefits. Right, it is, it is a huge benefit, mm -hmm. but it's a long time before you get those full benefits Yeah. as the employer. The customer and client starts getting it yes. as soon as you employ these techniques, but it takes a while to start making a profit off of that and to make mm -hmm. your training where it's not so... Overwhelming. It's where it's not overwhelming, yeah. Uh, I mean, and, and then, you know, of course, I had the wonderful benefit of starting when I was young, doing it, had an incredible amount of energy and, and <laughs> drive and, and uh, willpower, and, and nobody could tell me you couldn't do it, so yeah. I did it, <laughs> and, uh, and before I got burned out, you joined the company yeah. and gave me a second wind, and now we're doing even better, and mm -hmm. I tell you, that's, that's exciting. Yeah, when, you, when you top your own goals and you, you surpass them, mm -hmm. it gives you a lot of We've added probably 10, 10 employees to our roster in the last, what, four years? Even, yeah, I think even in the last three years. Yeah. Yeah. And in the time you've been here, we've probably added 15. Mm -hmm. So we've grown a lot. The company is, is really, really strong. Yeah. But we're not talking about just, you know, increasing profits. We're talking about getting people in that can do it and have redundancy. Yes. We don't just have one person that can do a job now. We've got people that can back them up. And we can make it go a little faster if they were a little slower on another job, but we got we have we finished up. Yeah. But we've got enough to staff all these projects now. And very important, we've got enough work to keep everybody busy so they don't go look somewhere else. Yes. This is what we bring to you. We bring to you a wonderful experience. That's why we say at Can Builders we have designed design the experience, experience so, so you, you can, can experience, experience the, the design. design. And we hope you all have a great weekend, and we hope you tune in next Saturday at the same time, 2 o'clock on WAI. And in the meantime, look us up at kmbuilders.com to see what we're talking about, to see the extensive portfolio and our wonderful employees. Thank you, and have a great weekend, everybody. Let me see.